So an important part of Viva Vendetta was quite an iconic building, as you can imagine. Um, everybody knows what the Houses of Parliament and Big Ben looks like. When we first had the initial pre-production meetings for the film, Dan Glass, who was the overall visual effects supervisor, the options were, could it be done digitally or should it be done as a miniature, a large miniature? Obviously, we've done a lot of uh, pyrotechnic work over the years. Um, myself uh, and Jose Grinnell, who was the model unit director on that show, basically came up with a plan to build a large Houses of Parliament um, and Big Ben and the Old Bailey. And the plan as part of the script was really to, to blow it up. Unfortunately, Guy Fawkes never managed it, but we did. It was a large miniature. At the time, we felt that it was the right way to go rather than doing it uh, digitally. The Houses of Parliament itself, they wanted it to blow up in a certain way, so we had to use a combination of motion control camera work. And the camera, as it ran down the track, basically triggered the explosion so we knew that the explosion would go off exactly at the right moment in front of the lens rather than there was no chance for a second go at this it had to be right and then obviously planning the whole you know approach of how we would make it blow up in a sort of a uh, sort of a staccato type explosion and Jose and, and, and Nigel Stone who was the cameraman you know, went to great lengths to, to make it look right, because it was obviously had to be shot on a stage um, rather than outside. So we had all sorts of health and safety aspects to look after um, and make sure, it, although it was a big explosion, that it was a controlled explosion. Likewise with Big Ben, which was a bigger model, the face of the clock face. And it was very clear that the directors, the Wachowski brothers, wanted the clock face to be really blowing out. And it was a hyper slow-mo. So, you know, we had you know, high-speed cameras churning through film like there was no tomorrow. Fortunately, we did have firemen on set because we were concerned that something might happen, and, and of course it did. Uh, some of the embers went up into the, into the reds and it, and it did catch fire, but we managed to put it out pretty quickly. But that whole explosion was so loud on H stage at Shepparton, when people rang the local police and uh, fire stations about the pyrotechnic that we managed to produce on that show. Here comes the crescendo.